Let's meditate for a few minutes now. Hanabhavana Sapakna. Close your eyes and get in touch with your breath. No one is coming in, no one is going out. Stick with it. Because the breath is the foundation for all our actions. If we didn't have the breath energy in the body, the body wouldn't be able to move, the mind wouldn't be able to stay with the body. We wouldn't be able to use the body to do good things. The problem is we often use the body to do bad things. So we've got to learn how to be right here with the breath, because that's where the impulse from the mind comes into the body. It's like we're being at the checkpoint right here. Orders come from the mind, go through the body. Make sure the orders are good. And it's a lot easier if you're right here all the time and not wandering off someplace else. So to be here, that's why we work with the breath, to make it comfortable. So it feels good being right here, and you don't have any inclination to go back into the past, up into the future. You're happy to stay right here and watch what's really important about what's going on in life. It's what you're doing. And the question is, how do you know what to do the right thing? Well, you've learned from other people. This is why we have the, the word katanyu in Pali, katanyuta, which means remembering what was done, particularly remembering what peop the good things that people have done for you. Like today, it's our annual gratitude fest. It's Mother's Day, and it's a day near the day that my teacher passed away. And so it's good to stop and think with gratitude of the lessons we've learned from people, from our parents, from our teachers, all the good things they taught us. They went to all that effort to teach us. And what have we done with their teachings? Have we made good use of them? That's something we have to ask ourselves. The proper response, of course, is that you want to do something good in return. If the person's still alive, you can do favors for that person, you can help that person. If the person is no longer alive, then you can carry on the goodness that they, they taught you. This is how goodness survives in the world. We appreciate that the things that our teachers, our parents, other people in past generations did for us, and we want to make sure that doesn't get lost with us. It's like something passed down the line. A dish of food passed down the line. Make sure you don't, you're not the one who drops it. Maybe someday it's going to get dropped, but, but don't you be the one who drops it. The goodness they taught you about how to be a good person, how to speak well, how to act well, how to think well, how to read, how to write, all the things we learned from our teachers and learned from our parents. You want to put that to good use. After all, that's what they taught us. So they knew that we were going to abuse the knowledge they gave us. They probably wouldn't have wanted to teach us. But they trusted us. They trusted that we would take, make good use of the goodness that they passed on to us. So make sure that you're worthy of that trust, that you live up to that trust. Whatever it was that they taught you about being good, make sure that you realize that that's really important. In the John Fu one time, there was one night when we were going to do meditation, and he didn't let us know until the very last minute that it was going to be an all-night sit. And we'd been working hard all day on other projects. And I complained. I said, I don't think I'll be able to do that. And he said, is, is it going to kill you? Well, no. I'd make it through, but it was going to be a fair amount of suffering. He said, well, if it's not going to kill you, you can do it. That's the importance of goodness. Even if it takes a lot of effort, if it takes a lot of difficulty, it's really worth it. Because that's what makes life worth living. Even if it does kill you, well, okay, you die with goodness. It's much better than dying with evil. So remember, it's goodness is what makes life worth living. Goodness is what gives us our value as people. And if we recognize the goodness in other people, that's a sign that we have. there's hope for us that we can be good people too. If you don't have gratitude for the goodness done to you, it's very unlikely that you're going to be any, anyone that anybody else can trust. So think about the good things you've learned from other people and make up your mind that you're going to be worthy of passing those things on. They trusted their goodness to you, so make sure you pass it on intact. Or make it even better if you can. This is why this is how human society is worth living in. Without this goodness, who knows, we'd, we'd be animals. So make sure that you think of the goodness, have gratitude for the people who are good to you, repay them in whatever ways are appropriate, and pass that goodness on to the rest of the world. That's what gives value to our lives.